Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Cupid, the God of Love. An arrow from the bow of Cupid, chubby little God of Love, will make anyone give in to passion and desire. Cupid, as he was called by the Romans, is the son of Venus and Mars, or Aphrodite and Ares, as they were known by the Greeks. He is the God of Love and Desire, flying about on feathery wings, shooting passion-tipped arrows at all the creatures of the earth. When struck with one of his arrows, man and beast alike fall in love with the next thing they see. Without Cupid's steady aim, there would be no love in this world. In Smite, Cupid spreads his love as a ranged physical assassin with a dash of support. Cupid's passive is called Love Strike. Every hit with a basic attack gives Cupid a 3% buff to the damage or healing of his next ability. This buff can be stacked up to 10 times. Upon reaching 10 stacks, the next Heart Bomb or Fields of Love will stun enemies for one second when they explode. His first ability is called Heart Bomb. Cupid fires an arrow that overwhelms the target with love, causing damage and slowing the target for three seconds. After that three seconds, the target's heart explodes with love, doing damage to the target and all nearby enemies. His second ability is called Share the Love. Cupid spawns three floating hearts at his ground target location that heal himself or allied gods. If an ally picks up the hearts, Cupid also regenerates a small amount of mana. Cupid's third ability is called Flutter. Cupid flutters quickly forward, leaving a trail behind him that increases all allies' movement speed. Cupid also gains an attack speed buff for a brief time after using Flutter. Cupid's ultimate is called Fields of Love. For this ability, Cupid fires a volley of heart-shaped arrows. After two seconds, the hearts explode, doing damage and mesmerizing everyone in the radius for three seconds. Any damage done breaks the mesmerizing effect. In this scenario, we are moving in on Sobek and Anubis at their tower. I fire Heart Bomb at Sobek as I strafe to miss his charge. My allied Sobek throws him back as the bomb detonates. I use Flutter to cut off his escape and we pick up an early kill. In this fight, the enemy initiates an attack on my allied Sobek. I go after Anubis with the Heart Bomb and Flutter to get into position as he tries to get away. He narrowly escapes as they turn back around. I move to cut off a Sobek charge, fire a quick heart bomb on Anubis, drop my fields of love to slow Sobek, and then I flutter to get away as Anubis dies. This fight got a little crazy. I'm trying to get 10 stacks on my passive to set up a stun. Sobek charges me early, so I use Flutter towards the enemy minions to pick up two more hits to activate my passive. Knowing that my ultimate will now stun, I fire Fields of Love on both of the enemies to trap them in the tornadoes, picking up a double kill with basic attacks. The enemy Guan Yu joins the fight late, activating his ultimate to try to bring down Sobek. I fire a Heart Bomb as soon as it's available to slow Guan Yu, Flutter into range, and pick up an assist to end the fight. Cupid is a great laning partner and works well in a dual lane. Share the Love gives Cupid and his lane mate great early sustainability. Heart Bomb also has a dual purpose of farming minions with the explosion or to harass other enemy players. I normally start with Heart Bomb first to keep enemies honest and follow that up with a point and flutter and then share the love. The priority after the first three levels is Fields of Love, Heart Bomb, Share the love, flutter. I start Cupid off by buying Vampiric Shroud and two mana potions to give me the most sustainability at the expense of early movement since I can use flutter. For the rest of my items, I want to focus on a mix of physical power and attack speed. So I normally buy Warrior Tabai, Devourer's Gloves, The Executioner, Soul Eater, and Titan's Bane. I will swap Kin's Blades in for Titan's Bane, depending on the enemy tank builds. 
Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Cupid, the God of Love.